you. We have a very special guest today, Mr. Peter Perry. He's going to share some things with you about how to be truthful at all times, okay? So let's give him our undivided attention and welcome Mr. Peace to Workman. Some of you might know me from uh, before. I've spoken here before, but uh, those of you that don't know me, I go by Mr. Peace, and I'm very, very happy to be here with you guys today. It really means a lot. Some of you guys are in kindergarten, right? Raise your hand. What about first grade? Second grade? We got any third graders here? Okay, good. I know fourth and fifth, right? Okay, cool. I want to start with a story today, guys. It has to do with some rocks. Anybody have any rocks, any pet rocks? What are their names? And we got a pet rock? What's his name? Rocky? Creative, I like it. Yes, what's that? What's his name? Sparkles? I like that, yeah, what about you? You didn't name it yet? Okay, it's a, it's a tough decision. So, here's the story, guys. The story about a fifth grader, not too much older than all of you, okay? About a fifth grader that was at a different school, okay? And he was outside one day throwing some rocks about this size at the school, at the school building. And he was trying to break that bell, like you know that bell that rings when you guys get dismissed, go home? He was trying to hit that bell. He kept throwing at the bell, kept throwing it there, trying to break it. Well, eventually, principal saw him through his office window. So the principal came out and he ran over there and said, what are you doing? He's like, nothing, nothing. I, I wasn't doing anything. But the principal said, no, no, no. I saw you throwing rocks at the building. And, the, and then the boy said, but I didn't think I was going to get caught because nobody was watching. But here's the here's the lesson, guys, and here's what I really want to hammer home today is that when we're talking about being truthful, truthfulness, truthfulness, we're talking about being honest, not lying, having integrity, which means that what you say matches what you do, your actions match your words, having courage, the common sense to tell the truth, all these things, right? When we're talking about that, that's called character. And character is not judging you for what you do when someone's watching. Character is not me judging all of you right now when I'm watching you. True character is what you do when nobody's watching. So when you're by yourself, when you're alone, when you have an opportunity to not be honest, that you still stay honest. Because the person that you might hurt is yourself. Because you'll, sometimes if you do something bad, you feel guilty. You feel ashamed, you kind of feel bad, right? Okay, let's do a quick example. I, I need some volunteers. Yes, in, in the Michigan State. Come up here, uh, right here, girls rock. Yes, good. Um, okay, do uh, you want to come too? Um, would you like to come up here, okay, come too? Yes, come on, you come. Uh, green, you in the green. You and the green, you and the green. Green is my favorite color. Uh, yes, you. And in the black over there. Yes, you. And the hat. Okay. All right. If I don't get you guys, I'll try to get you guys, okay? So give them all a round of applause for coming up here. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Um, am I missing one? Am I Okay. All right. So now, here's the here's the scoop, guys. Here's the scoop. What is your name? Emma. Wow. That's what the girl's name was last time. Cool. All right. I know how to pick them. All right. So Emma, you come over here. Okay. Now, Emma. Emma is the new girl in school. Okay. She's the new kid in the block. So so a lot of people don't know her. A lot of people are kind of judging her in their minds. You know, they don't really know her that well. Okay. Now. What's your name? Elena, come over here. Now, Elena meets Emma. Come on over here. Walk over here. 
Lena meets Emma and she's like, hey, Emma's kind of cool. They should be friends, okay? So then Emma and Elena are friends. Now, all eight of you, come over here, come over here, okay? So you guys decide that you're gonna go to the movies, okay? You're gonna have some popcorn, but take a couple of kernels. That's the popcorn, there you go. And what if Emma 
heard, heard what they were saying about her behind her back. That would even hurt more, wouldn't it, guys? So that's why it's so important to be honest and to tell the truth. Okay, now listen. Um, all you guys can have a seat. Thanks for your help. Okay, go ahead, guys. Give a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, good job. Now, listen, guys. Listen, 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 listen. You want to go with me? Okay. All right, what is your name? Lola? All right, Lola? Come have a seat, my name. Thanks for being here. Can you go there? Okay, good. All right, so listen. Lola and I are just, you know, having fun. We're, we're kicking it. We're having a good time, okay? And we're sitting like this. Go ahead. No, other way. Okay, great. So, now, I'm like, Lola, we should, go, we should go to the mall. She's like, yeah, Mr. Peace, we should. Yeah, Mr. Peace, we should. Okay, great. I mean, there's this new pair of shoes. I really want to get them. How about you? Yeah. Okay, great. So, all of a sudden, though, Lola calls me up and says, uh, uh, I, just, um, I just found out from my mom uh, that she's going to visit my grandma today. My grandma's really lonely. She's kind of sick right now. And I'm kind of like not sure what I should do, you know? And so Mr. Peace is like, well, Lola, I want to go get those shoes. I want to go to the mall. Come on. And Lola's like, um, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, I'll call you right back. Okay? So now, right here, Lola's got a choice, okay? She could pretend to tell her mom that maybe she's not feeling good, make up an excuse, I got, oh, I got a lot of homework, or just say something that's not true, not honest, just so she doesn't have to go to her grandma's with, with her mom, okay? She could do that, but is that right? No. Okay, now, if she did do that though, as soon as her mom left, I could go pick her up, go to the mall, get the shoes, be back before her mom even knew it, but again, just because she doesn't get caught, is it still not the right thing to do? No. Right, it's not the right thing to do, you're right. So, it's something that's gonna be hard, guys, because listen, telling the truth isn't gonna be easy. How many of you, show of hands, have ever heard or ever said this? My parents are gonna kill me. Anybody ever hear that, or anybody ever say that to themselves before? After something bad happened, like you broke something, or you hurt your sister or brother, and they're not telling you, if you hurt them, you're like, no, 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 please don't tell mom and dad, please don't tell mom and dad, please, please. And then they do, and you're upset. Now listen, did your parents really kill you? Because you, no, right? But you guys are here, right guys? Okay, now, here's my point though. Here's my point, that telling the truth is not easy. In last class, I had this one, one kid ask me, he said, Mr. Peace, do we still have to tell the truth even if it's a really, really, really bad thing. And I said, yes. And I said, it's not easy. It's not easy to be honest, guys. It's sometimes it's so hard, but you know what else? If you don't tell the truth, you got all this weight, all this burden, all this guilt, all this shame weighing on you. Just weighing on you, right? That if you were to tell somebody, that you might not get in as much trouble as if you try to hide it. I remember one time when I was your age, playing baseball in my front yard with my bat, Pretend this is my bat, my, my, my pencil bat. And I remember I was playing baseball and I let the bat go out of my hand and went right through my parents' front window of our house. Some of you guys are like, oh boy, you must have got in trouble, Mr. Peace. And yes, Mr. Peace got in trouble. But I tried hiding it for like two weeks. I tried to hide, hide where the bat went through the window so that my dad wouldn't find it. And he didn't find it for two weeks. But then when he found it, do you think he was more upset two weeks later? Or would he have been more upset if I told him right away? Two weeks later, you're right. That he was more upset that I didn't tell him right away. That I should have told him right up front, even though it was really hard to do. Because I'll tell you what, that was hard to do. So that's why it's so important to tell the truth first, to be honest. Yeah, what are you going to say? This is a real pencil. This is, this is my pencil. This is what I use. I used to write, see? It's really easy to write, see? If I need to erase something, I can, I can take a test sitting here and the piece of paper right there, I can just go. Or if I'm watching TV and I, and I don't want to get up, I just 
hit the button like that. See? That's what I do. Oh, I gotta, if I got a scratch on my back, I got a scratch on my back, or, or if Lola's got a scratch on her back, I get, see? See how that works? Now, everyone give Lola a round of applause. You move by the seat. Thanks a lot. Now, another scenario. Come on, you. Yes, the blue shirt right here. Yes, you come up. You come up. Hello, Kitty. You. You. Yes, it. Yeah. There you go. Uh, in the back, right there, in the orange. In the blue. everybody guys but listen one of these times I'll, I'll be back in a couple couple weeks I'll try to pick it up okay so listen here's here's the situation what is your name what's your name Kira all right step over here over here all right Kira not Sha Kira Kira has a big exam coming up so she needs a big pencil for it okay now she Kira's got this big exam coming up okay now all of us, come over here guys, come over here. Group over here. All of us, okay, we're all in Kira's class, okay? And listen, Kira is a great student, okay? Her teacher really likes her, she respects her. Sometimes she lets Kira help out in her classroom when she's not there, when she has recess duty, and Kira sometimes is willing to help her out. Now listen, there's a big test coming up, and all of us are thinking to ourselves, you know what, if Kira is alone in the class sometimes, maybe she can get the answers to the test for us. So we're all brainstorming, we're all like rubbing our hands together, and if we're making fire or something, and we got these big ideas, we're like, ah, <laughs> all right? Got these ideas flowing. And so now all of us, we circle around Kira, say, okay, we walk around Kira. Hi, Kira, hi. Great seeing you. I love what you've done with your hair. Yeah, great. Now, Kira, we want you to do something for us. We want you to get the answers for us. And then we say, Kira, we know you can do it. Kira, we know you can do it. Kira, we believe in you. Kira, we believe in you. Kira, we love you. Kira, we love you. Please, Kira, if you, if you do this, then we'll be your friends. If you do this, then we'll be your friend. Anybody ever heard that before? If you do this, then I'll be your friend? Wow. Interesting. All right, hands down. Hands down, please. All right. So now back up, everybody. Back up and let Kira come through. Kira, everybody face, face the audience so they can see you're good at it. Um, now, Kira, thanks for being a good sport, okay? You're uh, doing great, okay? Thank you so much. Now, Kira's got a choice here, doesn't she? What should she do? Should she give him the answers? What should she do? Yeah. Not get the answers, okay? What, what, what do you think? Tell the truth. I like you. Keep going back to the truth. Yes. It's like cheating. Don't tell the answers. Yes. Be honest. Tell the teacher. Maybe that's what I did. Yeah. Who are you going to say? Yeah. <coughs> Maybe tell the teacher what's going on in a, in a situation. Yeah, what do you think? So the teacher, tell the teacher that they want the A-plus student to get just because, just because she's an A-plus student. Yeah. Yeah, so that everybody wouldn't even learn. Even if you're not asked, what are you going to say? Always tell the truth, no matter what. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, you. Okay, what about you? 
No way. Okay, great guys. Great answers, okay? Great answers. Now listen, listen guys, listen. Do you think it's easy or going to be easy for her to say no? If you've got 10 of your friends around you saying, if you do this, we'll be your friend. Or if you do this, if you don't do this, then we won't be your friend. If you got that kind of pressure, do you think it's maybe tough to say to, to say no? Yeah. I, I bet it is. I bet it's very tough. But like all you guys just said right now, the right thing to do is to still be honest and still tell the truth. Because guess what? If she does that and then does get caught, she's in a lot more trouble than if she tells people up front, her teacher and adults or her friends, what the right thing is to do first, right? Now, let's have a whole new scenario, a whole new situation, okay? What if, what if Kira comes to school, okay? Who, who's your teacher? Miss Young? Miss Young, is Miss Young here? Miss Young, great. The other teacher was right and left too, but anyways. Um, now, she, Kira comes to school, has a big test, but forgot to study. She totally forgot to study. She was watching Shipwrecked or Smurfs or Transformers or something and got so into it she just forgot to study, okay? Now, should she ask one of her friends to cheat? And be dishonest? Or do you think she should try telling her teacher what happened? Whoever thinks she should tell her teacher, put your hand, raise your hand. All right, almost everybody. Okay, good. Because listen, here's what happens. Oh, sorry. You okay. Here's what happens, guys. If Kira tells Miss Young and says, "Miss Young, look, I'm sorry. I totally forgot about this. I just didn't study. You know, maybe I can take a grade down. Maybe I can take the test later. Maybe I can do extra credit, something to make up for it." Do you think Miss Young is going to respect her more if she does that, yeah. or if Kira de <laughs> decides to cheat? If she does that, if she tells her teacher first, and then that builds her trust. That builds her trust, doesn't it? With Kira. All right, give all these guys a round of applause. Here we go. something called filling buckets, bucket filling. You guys heard about that? What does it mean? What does bucket filling mean? What, yeah, what do you think? Make people feel better? Yeah, what are you going to say? Make people feel good? Yeah, what are you going to say? It's okay, yeah. Do something nice like do the dishes for your mom. What are you going to say? Do everything you can to be nice. Bucket filling. What are you going to say? It's okay. Sometimes you forget. It's okay. Yes. Make your bucket full. Yeah, what are you going to say? Be nice to your friends? Yeah. Help your mom and parents out. What are you going to say? Somebody's asking for something that's that's nice, and you can do it for them, and that can be a favor and help that person out. What are you gonna say? Go ahead, bud. Help your sister, help your parents. Yeah, what are you gonna say? Always be nice, yeah.
Be nice to someone if they feel bad. Yeah, we're gonna say. Don't be a fucking dipper. Dog, I have fucking dippers. No, I'm joking. Guys, sorry I kicked with everyone, and sorry if I don't get to you fast enough, because I know sometimes I always forget things too. But bucket filling in general, like what you said, is that if you do something good for someone else, you fill their bucket because it feels good to them, but it also feels good to you. It also feels good to you. And that's the same thing with being truthful. If you're honest with somebody else, if Kira is honest with Miss Young, if Emma and Elena are honest with each other about who their real friends are, that fills each other's buckets because then you trust that person more. If you're always lying, that person's not gonna trust you and you're gonna dip out of their bucket. But if you are honest, do the right thing, have the courage, the integrity, the common sense to think before you act, think before you do, then that's how you fill buckets. So what's gonna start happening, you guys might have already started in your classes, but you're gonna get a lanyard, a little rope, kind of like a chain. Some of you guys already have mine, I can see. And if you do something nice for somebody, if your teachers or one of your fellow students and peers sees you doing something nice, sees you being truthful and honest and not lying, they can give you one of these lanyards to keep for a day. And I'm gonna give Mr. Burt and some of your teachers some buttons and some puzzles and CDs if you guys do stuff that's nice, you can get one of those things for free from me, okay? If they see you doing something good, okay? So now listen, I want you to think about that and what it means to be bucket fillers, okay? Think about that. Now, anybody ever heard, when it comes to telling the truth, that you shouldn't do it because you'd be a tattletale? You ever heard about that, being a tattletale? Someone said my sister is. Um, listen. Listen, guys. We made, this, we made this real clear, okay? Stay with me here. Stay with me. If it means somebody's safety that you tell on somebody, then, then you do it, okay? Because I'll tell you what. To me, there's no such thing as doing is being a telltale. Because when it comes to somebody and being safe and telling the truth, that's very, very important. So no matter what it is, you need to be honest, okay? And what I want you to compare yourself to, what we did last class, is that you're either a bowling ball, bowling ball, okay? Or you're a balloon. And you're like, Mr. Peace, I'm not a bowling ball or a balloon. I said, yes, you are. And here's why. Bowling balls, they're hard, right? They're, uh, a lot of things can't hurt them, right? You can drop them, they'll probably still be okay. You can run into something, it's still okay. A bowling ball is like somebody with character, somebody with integrity, where their words match their actions. What they say is what they do. They're honest. That's somebody that's a bowling ball, okay? But a, ba a balloon, a balloon, it's empty, right? It's thin, it's full of air. If it gets hit, it'll probably pop one, right? Not all the time, but sometimes. So I compare people that are, that lie, that cheat, that are not honest, they're like balloons, because they're gonna do whatever they're gonna do just to be popular, just to be liked, just to fit in. And sometimes that's not the right thing to do. Sometimes it's the easy thing to do. Sometimes it's easy, but the easy thing is not always the right thing to do. Can I have you? Yeah, you. you come up here with me. And uh, right here. Yeah, you can. Come on. You hold the, you hold the balloon. All right, come here. All right, and then uh, Miss Young, can you just uh, make sure that uh, this doesn't go too far? All right. And in front row, I'm gonna stand right here. Front row, you you guys just uh, be on your guard, okay? If a bowling ball comes at, comes at you, try to not let it come at you, okay? All right, great. So, come over here. Well, what's your name? Nathan, what's your name? Christian and Nathan, okay, great. So Christian, here's what's gonna happen. Nathan, you too. Oh, you, you guys want to play it up with shoes? Oh, I need some of those, I need some of those. Okay, so, you're gonna face me, hold you guys. 
Start behind this line. Start behind this line, okay? And when I say go, you're gonna, Nathan, okay? Sorry, Nathan, he's gonna roll the bowling ball as far as he can, and then Christian's gonna throw the balloon as far as you can, got it? Towards, towards Miss Young, okay? So when I say one, two, three, go, when I say go, you guys will do it, okay? And I'll make sure that you guys don't get hurt by the bowling ball, okay? So, one, two, three, go. What's gonna go farther, guys? Bowling ball. I'll tell you what, it's the same thing with life. It's the same thing with life, guys. Bowling balls, people that are like bowling balls, they, they go farther than balloons because they got character, right? So I want you guys to raise your hand if you're gonna be a bowling ball. What happened? Where, where, where did my balloon go? Where did it go? Guys, tell the truth. Where did where, where, where? Tell the truth. 
So listen up, cause here we go. Work for elementary, sit down the floor. Yo, tell the truth, son, it's common sense. Like it's your break a window while you're playing catch. Accidents happen when you're in a mess. Be honest and get the truth off your chest. Otherwise, then the consequence to get you in deep like you're stuck in cement. And you get into more trouble with your rest. Truthfulness, we're ready to represent now. Straight up, now tell me, are you really gun? I'll be truthful, oh, oh, oh. In your life and that work, earth, man. Straight up, come on, man, yeah. Straight up, now tell me, are you really gonna up? Be so truthful, oh, oh, oh. In your life and that work, earth, man. Come on, yeah. When I say peace, you all say this. Peace, peace. And when I say work, you all say men. Work, work. We gotta be truthful, we gotta do it at this school, and you know what? It's pretty cool, hey. It's like, I'm like Tony Tiger eating across the place, and yeah, I'm feeling so, so very great. Whether I'm in kindergarten or in the third grade or first or second, I'm gonna wear some hair braids. Maybe next time we'll see that. Maybe a feather going down my jacket. But I don't know, all I really know is that we gotta be honest, you gotta listen to my flow. All of you touch my heart. Yo, that's the first place we gotta start. So don't tell no lies, you gotta be honest, you gotta have character, you gotta just keep quiet time. And keep quiet and just like this, throw up the peace sign. Hey, everybody wait them from right to left. Put the peace sign, get it off your chest. Everybody just give them your best. Be the bowling balls, be the bowling balls. And just rock it like that, guys, like that. Just kinda like, go like that. Right? Guys, thank you so much for touching my heart, okay? I'll be back in a couple of weeks, okay? Be fair. Be true, man. Be honest, man.
35 minutes for any size group. Is